If you're like me and you do business online in the United States, there are certain legal policies that you need to have on your website. And that's to protect both you and your visitors and customers and clients. This is probably one of the most boring things that any online entrepreneur has to deal with, but it's also one of the most essential. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, my name is William Bean with Suburbia Press, and we help small business owners power their business online. And one of the ways that you do that is to protect yourself and also your clients and visitors from any misunderstandings. And that's what legal policies really are about. There are a number of things that you may need. There are three that you definitely do need for any website that's online doing business in the United States. And if you're doing other things, if you're a coach, if you have a membership, if you have courses, if you're a podcaster who has a guest on, or if you need a non-disclosure agreement, you need a reliable source to get policies that will hold up to scrutiny. In other words, they need to be able to support the requirements from the Federal Trade Commission. They need to be GDPR compliant. They need to have protection in California with their online privacy protection framework. So there are just a number of things that the average person doesn't have the time or experience to go in and draft these policies so they're correct. You could go to an attorney, and that will be a very expensive thing. And honestly, the attorney is probably not the one who's going to be writing this policy. He's probably going to have a paralegal or someone on the staff write them. They've probably got boilerplate that they're going to put in, and they'll charge you thousands of dollars. You could do what I do, I had or what I did in the past. I had a little plugin. It was called WP-Insert, and it had a thing to generate a small privacy policy, which honestly was... Well, let's just say it was crap. Fortunately, I met somebody. I was at Amy Porterfield's online uh, entrepreneur experience in 2019. And the guy standing behind me in the buffet line was a Harvard attorney. His name is Bobby Klink. And nice guy. I'd seen him around in the forums. We had a brief chat there. And I thought, okay, that's nice. When I started looking after that event for some of my online policies, I found out that Bobby creates policies and sells them to online entrepreneurs. In fact, he's kind of left the legal profession and become an online marketer. And this is a key part of his business is selling these legal templates because he recognized there's an opportunity and a need in the marketplace for good policies. He's a Harvard educated lawyer. I got to say that his policies are really great and they are inexpensive compared to what you would get going to another source. I wouldn't trust things online like legal zoom and so forth because you're just, you're not dealing with a person. With Bobby, you can actually ask questions, and he has options inside of his policies. He's For some of them, he's got a generator now. Where you just type in your information, and it automatically spits out a personalized policy for you. So let me show you a couple of examples. All right, here we are on Suburbia Press. If I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see I've got a menu, and these are the three that you're going to need for any website, a disclaimer, terms and condition, and a privacy policy. If you'd like to get this privacy policy for free, there's no problem. I will leave a link in the description below and we'll just send you right over to Bobby's site where you can get this policy. He does it as a giveaway. Matter of fact, here it is, free privacy policy generator. He's got a little video right there. You just put in your name and address and your primary revenue source and you'll get a template. This is kind of his gift. It's his lead magnet, but it's also really a gift and you'll see that uh, there's more information here. So if we take a look at mine, you can see that you know, I've got Suburbia Labs LLC. That's my business name. And you'll see my site name is in here. Basically what happened is when I went into this document, the way he did it in the past was with a Google Doc. And then there were highlighted sections where you would find and replace your legal business name, your site name, and other information that was important. And then there were sections where they would go over what you do and what you don't do. So for example, if you have a dispute, do you want to go to arbitration or do you want to go to a court? So there's options. You can choose this or the other. And each of his policies had little things like that. So you can kind of customize them to your own sensibilities and what you prefer. So for example, Suburbia Press is not intended for children under the age of 13. So we have this clause in here and we don't knowingly collect personal information. And of course, every website is going to collect some information. Your IP address is going to be collected. You may or may not put in your name or your email address, but 
automatically there are things collected. There may be cookies that are set up there. You may have a, you may fill out a contact form from us. So we cover that inside of this section. And then of course, here's the use of cookies and pixels. And then there are third party cookies, which we may not have any control over. So for example, if you're using Google analytics, they're going to collect cookies as well. And that just says, you know, there are third parties, advertisers, networks that may collect cookies when you visit a site. These are things that most people aren't going to think about if they wanted to create their own privacy policy. So this is kind of what happens if you join our email list, what our policies are, how and why we collect the information. The idea behind the privacy policy is so that you're not deceiving anyone. You're being upfront and transparent about what happens and what we do with the information that you provide. In my case, I don't sell this information to anybody. I don't share it with anybody knowingly. I mean, there are third-party cookies, like I said, for example, Google Analytics, that will pick up some information, but that information doesn't actually come to me outside of their system. So Suburbia Press is not sharing information to gain a profit or leverage things. These are things that we do to get information to better serve our customers and clients. Here's the information on disclosure of your information. So there are possibilities that if we're sued, for example, a lawyer comes or a collection agency comes and they need to enforce our terms of service or agreement, we may be compelled to share information. And then you know about that if you've gone through and read the privacy policy here. And this is the same kind of information that you need to share on your site. Is there a legal requirement to have a privacy policy? I've heard differing stories. I've heard some people say, yes, there is. I've heard other people say, no, there's not, but you probably ought to do it to make sure that you are above board and not deceiving your audience. I'm not an attorney, so I can't tell you what that is. All I can tell you is the smart thing to do is to make sure you're protected for the policies on your site. And there's my contact information. And as I said, we have our terms and conditions and dis disclaimers. Every website should have these three and you can get the privacy policy for free. You can also get a, what Bobby calls his ultimate legal checklist. And this will help you decide if you're one of these things, a course creator, a membership owner, a coach, a service provider, it can go through and show you the kind of things that you may need. So for example, if we come over here to my uh, login on his site, I bought the whole pack. Everything that Bobby had at the time that I bought it and anything that he comes out with later on, I bought. So that way I made uh, a payment plan. He, it was like, I think a thousand dollars for the thing at the time that I bought it. And he's having a sale uh, the month of August, 2021. So if you're interested in getting uh, legal policies and you want to get them at a discount, August, 2021 is a good time to do it. Again, I'll make sure that I have the links in the description below, but Everything you can think of, the website legal, I mentioned the privacy terms and the disclaimer. Confidentiality, there's a template there for a non-disclosure agreement or mutual confidentiality agreement. This is the big one, I think, for a lot of people who are in business. If you're going to have a membership, you need to have an agreement with your members. A coaching agreement. So for example, with coaching, let's say that you have an appointment scheduled with one of your clients and for whatever reason, they're a no-show. Well, what happens? Do you have a policy that says you miss your thing when you've paid for it, you've missed it? Or are they going to come back to you and say, well, I missed it, I, but I still paid for it. I want you to take time out of your schedule, interrupt the rest of your day and give me what I paid for. Spell out the agreements in advance. These policy agreements look at the types of common disputes that you may find and it puts it in place before you enter an agreement with a client. That way they know what they're getting. They know what the requirements and rules are. And it saves a lot of back and forth and a lot of confusion and potentially legal action later on, depending upon you know who your client is and how much you're charging. So you may have a guest teacher for one of your courses. You need to have an agreement there to specify what they're supposed to offer you and what you give them as compensation later on. Same thing if you hire a copywriter. Some of the ones I haven't come down to use yet are publicity releases, but if you have a testimonial, there's a release for that if you have a publicity release, or if you have a podcast guest. So those are things that you want to put out there because you may want to reuse part of that podcast guest's comments in something else. Can you do that or not? Did they agree to it or not? Well, you go through this podcast guest release and that determines what both sides may or may not do with the recording. 
if you have people that you've hired, there's offer letters, confidentiality agreements, and virtual assistant agreements, and overseas virtual assistant agreement, and some contractors. Basically, you're running a business. You need to protect yourself by having agreements up front before any business takes place. One of my other lines of business is in photography. I go on photography forums all the time and I see people saying, my client wants this, my client wants that, what do I do? I thought, well, what did your contract say? If you don't have a contract that hasn't gone over the steps of what photographs you're going to give your client or how things are going to work, then you run into a lot of wasted time and effort going back and forth. Legal agreements settle things before they become problems. And that's one of the reasons that I can recommend these legal agreements. If we come over here to this uh, website policy, let's click on view details. He's got a beta that he's set up and he's working in. You can click on this to generate your document. And you just put in some of your basic information and it will include all of this inside of your document that you get for your privacy policy, for example. It's like, do you have a GDPR representative? Most people don't have one. I, I do. I use a, a service to receive documents, and they are also my GDPR representative. So you can determine yes or no. So in my case, I'd click yes, and then I'd put the information where my GDPR representative is. But if you don't know, you can also ask questions. And it's just a wonderful system to give you legal protection. And overall, the cost for this protection, I think, is reasonable. You can buy these things in packs. So, for example, if you come over here and you just wanted to buy all of the uh, website legal stuff, I, before his discount, I think this was like um, 297 basically almost $100 for each of the policies. And the privacy policy is free if you just want to get that. And there's coaching packs and there's different opportunities in here. I would suggest that it's worth taking a look. But I, I really do recommend this. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your clients. And I'll, as I said, I'll have links below, but this is the best legal policy product and service that I've found. There's a very active community group for the folks inside of uh, Bobby's team. So as we click over here, you can see there's different uh, agreements, but there's also different bundles. And I think that you can find something that you're going to need, or you can get one of the template packs. So there is the website policy pack, the course creator pack, coaches pack you can just get what you need if you don't want to get the entire bundle. I found it valuable for me to get the entire bundle because I am doing, obviously I have a website. I am doing courses on some of my sites. I am looking at memberships as well. And it's possible I may have the coaches pack and the service provider options on my sites. So for me, getting the entire plan was useful and valuable because it also means that when he comes out with new templates, I've got access to those. And he just last month, he came out with four new uh, legal policies. So this is, uh, in my opinion, the best thing you can do to protect yourself. Hey, thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. I hope this is helpful to you. I know legal policies are probably the most boring product ever, but they are incredibly important. So if you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. That tells the YouTube overlords that I did something right. They'll share this with more people. Subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so you'll know when I put another video out. Thanks so much. I'll see you again in the next video.